The Los Angeles Chargers are now 4-7 and seven after losing to Baltimore on Sunday night. I don't think they're serious about trying to win. And when has this organization ever looked like they've been serious about trying to win anything meaningful? I mean, this is the same team that didn't allow Phillip Rivers to win the Super Bowl. This is the same team that wasted a Hall of Fame level quarterback for Phillip Rivers for several years. And they're doing the same thing with Justin Herbert. Look, we know that this ownership doesn't have a history of firing coaches during the season. But Brandon Staley is so bad of a coach that you got to just pull the plug on him. Your playoff hopes are going down the drain. You can't win close games. You can't beat good teams. I mean, after they blew that big lead to the Jacksonville Jaguars in the wild card round last year, I was for sure certain that they were going to fire Brandon Staley and they were going to go after Sean Payton. And Sean Payton, I'm pretty sure he would have been okay with taking way less money than what he's getting paid at Denver to take this job. But the fact that they brought Brandon Staley back for another season just shows us all that the Chargers are not really serious about trying to be a winning organization. I mean, like, seriously, they drafted Quinn Johnston over Zay Flowers, Tank Dell, Josh Downs. There were so many better wide receivers got, that got taken, not just before Quinn Johnston, but after he was drafted. This, this ownership, this front office, I don't think they care about winning. Because if they did, they wouldn't allow Brandon Staley to continue to allow this to be a losing operation. Anytime these boys play a good team, they lose. I mean, they lost to Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. I mean, that that would, if that wasn't the final draw in the line for them to part ways with Brandon Staley, I don't know what it is. Now, Jordan Love and them have been playing some good football, but you're a defensive-minded coach making it look like you're running a JV defense for Jordan Love to just dissect. If this organization was serious about winning, they would have made changes. You see, the teams that actually care about winning, they're not cheap. They're not afraid to spend whatever it takes to get the best of the best to win. The Chargers, yeah, they spent some money in free agency, but some of it hasn't been well spent. They were paying a lot of money to J.C. Jackson, and he was pretty much scamming those boys. It was so bad that the general manager had to go into his locker room and tell the team, hey, I'm sorry that we gave so much money to a shitty player. Is this organization really committed to trying to win? It may sound like I'm trying to be funny, but I'm dead serious right now because I don't think they are. You got Justin Herbert, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL. I don't think you guys just realize how talented Justin Herbert is to be able to overcome how bad this situation has been since he got drafted to Los Angeles. This dude is potentially about to be on his third head coach. Most quarterbacks that get drafted this high who have to overcome this amount of coaching staff changes end up being bust. And yeah, you got people calling this dude overrated when this defense hasn't held up their end of the bargain for what? Never. I mean, the Chargers' best defensive performance with Brandon Staley at the helm as head coach was when they beat the Dolphins on Sunday night football last season. That was about it. Justin Herbert is getting wasted by an organization that doesn't seem like they're all that committed to trying to do what it takes to win. Because if they really did, they would go out there and spend the money that it costs to get a top-notch head coach. They could have had Doug Peterson. They could have had Sean Payton. If Sean Payton was the head coach of the Chargers right now, this is probably a team that's in the Super Bowl discussion right now. And they probably have one of the best records in the NFL. Brandon Staley was hired after being the defensive coordinator for the Rams for one season. And he's running a defense that isn't good. And he won't give up the play calling. When you have a head coach that lacks accountability, that's a great sign that that dude isn't it. With the defense being as bad as what it's been, there's no reason why he should still be the head coach of this organization, of this franchise. Now, the defense didn't play bad against Baltimore, but once again, they came up flat. And big game situations. This dude is overly aggressive on fourth down. He doesn't have great in-game decision making. He doesn't have great clock management. He doesn't take accountability. This is somebody who shouldn't be a head coach. And instead of the Chargers going out there and spending top-notch money for a guy like Sean Payton, they decided to opt to be cheap with a 
bottom of the barrel head coach in Brandon Staley. This is one of the worst head coaches in NFL history. I don't care if he made it to the playoffs. There's been bad coaches to make it to the playoffs before. If you play a weak schedule and you got a talented quarterback like Justin Herbert and a really good team, it's possible to make it to the playoffs. But bad coaches don't make it out of the wild card round. Brandon Staley was lucky to make it to the playoffs in 2022 because they took advantage of playing bad quarterbacks. They don't have a winning record against teams with good quarterbacks for a reason. And the main reason is because his defense is ass. So I really don't think the Chargers are serious about trying to win, especially when they continue to allow Brandon Staley to keep his job when they're on the three-game losing streak. And Kellen Moore, I think he gives you a better shot to save your season and turn things around than what Brandon Staley does. You already seen what you got in him. You should have kicked him to the curb last season after he lost in the playoffs the way that he did. And instead, they continue to allow another bad regime to waste another talented quarterback just like they did with Phillip Rivers.